Chemflex, Stoichiometry Made Easy. Part 1, Mass Stoichiometry. Stoichiometry sounds hard, but it's not. It simply means calculations involving chemical reactions. In mass stoichiometry, you are given the mass of one substance and asked to find the mass of another substance in the reaction. Pretend the substance you are given the mass of is called A, and the substance you are asked the mass of is called B. The process is simple, as you will see as we create the following diagram. We take the grams of A and convert it to moles of A, where A is the substance given. We must now find the amount of the substance asked for. We convert moles of A to moles of B, the substance asked for. Lastly, we convert moles of B to grams of B. We convert grams of A to moles of A using the molar mass of A. We take the grams of A and multiply it by a conversion factor with the moles of A on top and the grams of A on the bottom. We put a 1 by the mole, which we always do in a conversion factor involving moles and grams. By the grams, we write the molar mass, which can be symbolized by the letter M. The conversion from moles of one substance, like A, to the moles of another substance like B is often called the mole bridge calculation. The coefficients in the balanced equation for a reaction show us how the moles of the substances are related. The balanced equation A plus 3B gives 2C tells us that one mole of A reacts with three moles of B to produce two moles of C. If we know the moles of A and we want to find the moles of B, we multiply the moles of A by a conversion factor. We write moles of A times a conversion factor with the moles of B over the moles of A. You can see that the moles of A will cancel out and will be left with the moles of B. Now we must find the numbers to put in this conversion factor. For these, we use the coefficients in the balanced equation. The coefficient on B is 3, so we write 3 by the moles of B in the conversion factor. In the equation, there is no coefficient written before the A. This means the coefficient of A is actually 1. We put the 1 by the moles of A in the conversion factor. The conversion factor tells us there are three moles of B for every one mole of A, just like it says in the balanced equation. In the last step, we must convert the moles of substance B to grams of substance B. We write the moles of B times the conversion factor grams of B over moles of B. One goes by the moles of B and the molar mass of B M is written by the grams of B. We have gone from grams of A to moles of A to moles of B to grams of B. This series of conversion from grams to moles to moles to grams is used in virtually every mass stoichiometry problem. Now we'll work through an actual example using a real chemical equation. We're given the balanced equation and we're asked what mass of C6H14 is required to produce 220.05 grams of CO2. A stoichiometry problem always involves two substances in a chemical reaction, one given and one asked for. It doesn't matter which side of the equation each of these are on, left or right, we always use the same procedure. We are given the mass of CO2 and asked to find the mass of C6H14. So our plan could be to start with the grams of CO2, convert this to moles of CO2, convert moles of CO2 to moles of C6H14, and finally moles of C6H14 to grams of C6H14. We start by writing 220.05 grams of CO2. 
we need to convert grams of CO2 to moles of CO2. So we need the molar mass of CO2, which we calculate by adding the atomic mass of carbon, which is 12.01, and 2 times the atomic mass of oxygen, which is 16, giving us a total of 44.01 grams per mole. We can now multiply the grams of CO2 by the conversion factor 1 mole of CO2 over 44.01 grams of CO2. Notice that the unit grams of CO2 will cancel, leaving us with moles of CO2. Next, we need to convert moles of CO2 to moles of C6H14. When converting moles of one substance to moles of another, we need to use the coefficients in the balanced equation. We multiply by the conversion factor moles of C6H14 over moles of CO2. The coefficient 2 is written front of the moles of C6H14 and the coefficient 12 is written in front of the CO2. Notice that the unit moles of CO2 will now cancel. The last step is to convert moles of C6H14 to grams of C6H14. For this, we need the molar mass of C6H14. We add 6 times the atomic mass of carbon to 14 times the atomic mass of hydrogen, giving us a total of 86.20 grams per mole. So we multiply by the conversion factor 86.20 grams of C6H14 over 1 mole of C6H14. Notice the grams of CO2 will cancel, the moles of CO2 will cancel, and the moles of C6H14 will cancel, leaving us with the unit grams of C6H14. To get the answer, we take 220.05 times 2 times 86.2 and divide by the product of 44.01 times 12. If you are using a calculator, be sure to put the bottom numbers in brackets. The answer is calculated to be 71.83, and the unit is grams of C6H14. So, 71.83 grams of C6H14 is required.